as we continue looking at the seven words spoken by Jesus on the cross, I will reflect on statement number three, according to John 19 verse 26. When Jesus there saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing by, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. And to the disciple, here is your mother. From that time on, this disciple took her to his home. The final words of a loved one are precious. We hold on to them, to their last breath. And if we are not there as they are speaking them, we ask, what did he or she say? Many of us do not get to hear them, but Mary had the privilege of receiving comfort from her son, Jesus Christ. We do not hear much about Joseph, and we think he may have died by this time a few years back. Jesus had just prayed for his murderers, the persecutors, and even talked to the thief on his side, and now he was speaking to his mother. And now Mary also understands Simon's prophecy about her son, according to Luke chapter 2, 25 to 35, where she remembers that her son was going to be appointed for the fall and rise of Mary. Jesus is John is referred to as the disciple that Mary loved. Why did Jesus leave Mary to John's care? We know that his brothers were not there at the foot of the cross and the disciples were scattered. Though according to scriptures later, we know that his brothers became believers and one of them is James who wrote the book of James and Jude also wrote the book of Jude. Jesus entrusted Mary, his follower, John, who was present there at the foot of the cross. He secured for her an adopted son. He obtained for her a home. He consoled her in her grief, drawing attention from his suffering to the person she was with, John. What are the lessons that we are learning? When God removes one comfort from us, he raises up another one, just as Jesus told Mary that John would be her son. Jesus cared for his family. He did not abandon his family. He provided for the needs of his mom and wanted to make sure that she was as comfortable as possible. Even in his selfless point of death, even in his pain, he thought of his family. What are we learning? Never abandon family for the sake of achieving something. Minister to your family first. He entrusted Mary to John. John gave John, God gave John the assignment according to the relationship that he had with him. John was present. God talks and speaks and assigns to those who are present with him. Even as we reflect, we know that God will put assignment on those whom he loves, those who have integrity, those who trust him. The question I want to ask us today, are you sold out to Christ so that he can entrust his life with any of his interests in this world? Are there people who are like family to you? What bond have you created between you and them? Are you able to commit your family sons to their capable hands? Today I want to encourage you, are you isolated by Mary? Like Mary, in grief, the loss of a loved one, have you lost your income? God is telling you, behold, my son is here. Behold, Christ is here. He's promised to take care of you. He has promised to watch over you. He has promised to be with you. Don't be shaken. Don't feel isolated. Behold, as Christ told his mother, here is someone that will take care of you. Therefore, we are told that the disciple took her home, and we know that Mary was well. May we and may God open the eyes of our faith, O Lord, 
to see where help is available. My encouragement is to you this morning is that don't be isolated. Don't feel abandoned. Don't feel left out because Christ is here with you.